Off the top of tonight, 10 at 10, it is week three of the teacher's strike in Minneapolis with no end in sight. One of the biggest sticking points is student mental health. The district gave its last, best and final offer this week, proposing at least one social worker in each school. But that's not enough, and teachers want at least one counselor and one nurse per school as well. And the district says there is just not enough money. Our Bab Santos joins us live from Minneapolis right now with the latest on this impasse. Babs? Yeah, tonight, the district is saying it shares many of the same values as these teachers, but the teachers are saying the district isn't backing that up at the bargaining table. We are here for the long haul. On the 16th day of a teacher strike in Minneapolis, <laughs> the divide between the district and its teachers is growing fierce. It's hard to be away and it feels really disrespectful that in order to be heard, we had to take such drastic steps. Much of it appears to ride on the teachers' demand of improved mental health support for their students. Kids are actually just really suffering. Teachers want every school building to have at least one social worker, one school counselor, and one school nurse, as well as lower limits on how many students each worker would be responsible for. I can't even say enough about the importance of having mental health supports in schools. But at this point, the district is only agreeing to one social worker in each building and lower case counts in some schools. We're still missing school counselors and we're still missing school nurses. Ayala Alate says during the pandemic, he left Minneapolis schools for online school because of a lack of mental health support. There was like one counselor just kind of running around. South High School like senior Layla Sundin is just one of many students who this crowd <laughs> says has seen drastic effects on their mental health because of the pandemic and civil unrest. I have like definitely missed school before like due to mental health and it's I should be able to go to the schools that are like near me and not have to think about like going to like an alternative school or an online school. And today students have begun a sit in inside the district's office. They say they won't leave until an agreement is reached. Live in Minneapolis, Bab Santos, Fox 9. All right, thanks, Bab's neighbor.